I quit my job. I didn't realize what I was doing until I found myself walking up to my boss and blurting the words out loud, grinning. They took it well. Maybe a little thrown off guard, maybe a little sad, but honestly, it was kind of funny. It's been weeks of many firsts and lasts. It was the last time I'll wear my badge, log on, and send these soul-crushing emails ever again. That bit I'm really excited for. I won't see my co-workers daily, my body clock will revert from the 9 to 5 work schedule, and I'll be able to do literally anything, everything, and nothing at all. Time has slowed down. I feel my senses returning, the ticking of the clock matching my heartbeat. I can hear both my ease and urgency, smell my laughter and my sorrow, taste my fear and paranoia. It feels as if I can just reach out and touch my future with my fingertips. It wasn't an easy decision, but a choice that felt as easy as breathing, innate intuition, instinctive reflex. Not a choice, but a necessity. I woke up the following Monday in a slight panic. Who am I? Where am I? What do I do next? I was nauseous, stricken, and just a little bit horrified. But I got up, made my bed and fluffed my pillows, and lay back down on the cool wooden floor, grinning. It got easier with time, waking up eager for the day, looking down and seeing my own two feet. I felt as if I'd been floating around like a ghost unwilling to understand why I couldn't recognize its own face. I had to make this choice, a choice to take my life back even if I wasn't sure what that meant to own my life no matter how hard because I realized that I've been operating and making decisions based off of a fear of what could go wrong rather than inspiration over everything that could go right. At what point did I surrender myself to everyone else's dream? There isn't a right or wrong choice except never making a choice at all. Free fall. Let it scare you. Let it hurt. And of course it's terrifying. I'm worried about money, insurance, retirement. It's inescapable, but none of that outweighs my fear that one day I'll wake up and realize that I feel nothing. No anger, no fear, no reason to be. That was the feeling from this past year, diluted down, cornered, rotting. I became my own self-imposed curse, wrecking havoc, feeling foul, a corpse amongst the living. I had to do this, choose to take a chance on myself, push my boundaries and reset the expectations set by myself and others. There is only time to do something, anything about it. No one will do it for you. No one will change your life or fix your problems. No one wants to, they're too busy. I wish it was that easy. We all wish it was that easy. You are the one you're looking for, and that person you want to be is right in front of you. So this is me. I'm Cecilia, and I'm 23, and I'm nobody and everybody, depending on how I'm feeling. I have no idea what's coming next week, month, or year. I want to travel and reunite with old friends and befriend someone new. I want to explore and reconnect with my roots, see bits and pieces of myself return and pick up some new pieces too. I have no guideline or expectations. I have no reason. Why should I? Why should you? This series will be random and follow no schedule because, let's be honest, life doesn't follow a schedule. It just happens as we go. And I'll make no promises except that this is me, right now, and it's the last time I'll be her again. Say your last words, then leave them be. Eat your heart out and stomp on it too. Let it go. Let yourself go. We finish some of the things we promise and fail to make others come true. It's okay. It's okay. Change your mind and take things back. Redo it. Try again. Say you're sorry and actually mean it. Though maybe sometimes, We don't know if it's actually true. Regret and move forward. Keep 
moving forward. Don't confine yourself to only one path because you are capable of so much more. You are made of so much more. Trust me. We make life-changing choices every day because most of the time, it's not as hard as we make it out to be. Give it time. Give yourself the time to think on it. Create a plan and try again. Anything and everything is possible, probable, already happening and unstoppable. How weird, how frightening, how horribly exciting.